CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. In this video, we're going to discuss how to connect our new two-way audio mic and speaker combo to some of our IP or PoE cameras that have line-in audio input and output. I have two different kinds of cameras. This is a mini PTZ, it's a four times zoom, and this is a motorized zoom dome camera. If you look at the pigtails on the camera, this particular one has an audio out that's an RCA and an audio in that's an RCA. That lets me connect the RCA connections on the two-way audio speaker kit cleanly without needing additional adapters. This PTZ on the other hand has bare lead wires that need to be terminated into RCA connections for it to be connected to the two-way audio kit. I'll review these connections for you so you can understand them on video. This is a basically a twist terminal RCA connector. You plug in a male RCA into it and you connect two bare lead wires here. There's a positive and a negative. On the camera itself, it has markings for what they stand for. In this case here, white color wire is audio in and black is ground. Red is audio out. So the audio in gets connected to the plus side of one connector and the audio out gets connected to the plus side of the other connector. Now black is ground. I chose to connect it to my audio in and then I used a little piece of thin wire. This is a Cat 5E solid copper, bare copper solid conductor and then bridge the ground on the negative on one terminal to the other. This allows you to properly set up a, a two-way audio input into this camera. On this other camera, we already have these RCA audio connections like I mentioned, so we don't have to do any of that. Now these are PoE cameras. If you were just using them for video and power, you simply just connect your ethernet cable directly in here and the cameras work. You never have to utilize this power input. But when setting up a two-way audio box next to the cameras, you're gonna end up needing to utilize this 12 volt input. And I'll show you how. So I'm gonna cover both of these cameras in one video. So make sure you watch the complete video guide so in the case of a camera here that already has audio in and out. CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. The if you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from you for further assistance. To the audio in. You're done. The white is the audio out. And it's marked here on the cable. You connect it to the audio out connection. In this case, it's yellow on this particular pigtail. Look at the markings on your pigtails on your camera. This is audio out. That's where the audio out from the speaker comes in. Now we're left with these two connections on the camera. The RJ45, which is PoE technically, but in this case, if I connect PoE here, there's no way of getting power out of this. This is a power input. So what comes into play now is our PoE power splitter. You bring in your RJ45 with PoE coming from an NVR, PoE injector, or PoE switch, and then you connect this Ethernet wire. This is not going to be with. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to camera. like, comment, and subscribe. Connectivity, data connectivity to the camera. Make sure you weatherproof this if you have this installed, and where moisture is uh, possible to come and damage the pigtail. Make sure you're protecting this. Now we've got power. I could just connect this power tip in here, but then guess what? My camera is powered, but my two-way audio kit is not. To correctly fix that, I need a power splitter. We split the power coming in from this PoE power splitter, and then we connect one end to the camera. Then we have to use this coupler to connect into the speaker. 
Now we've got a complete setup on the right, on this side here, on the left-hand side that you're watching. Got the speaker and mic connected from this two-way audio box. And then we've got the power going to the box and to the camera and data connectivity to the camera. And then you plug in your PoE input. This device will support a certain amount of amps depending on which model you buy. So it's not great for PTZ cameras that require a lot of amperage. Uh, some PTZ cameras that are 12X or 25X namely require a lot of amperage, but PTZ cameras like this little one, or there's another one that looks like this, they require about 10 to 12 watts in total, which is not a whole lot, it's only one amp. You can use that. As long as your wire run is no more than 200, 250 feet, there are a lot of parameters, variables that go into play. So this is basically good for smaller cameras that don't have a high amount of power draw. So to recap on an audio input on a PoE camera that already has RCA terminations, you can have a clean connection. The only thing you need is a PoE power splitter, a DC power splitter, and a DC coupler, and your two-way audio box. So you need one, two, three, four things in addition to the camera and its PoE power source. So now let's compare how to connect a camera that has the two lead wire terminations. So for that, it's a little bit different. I'm gonna disconnect my two-way audio box. So on here, white is the audio in. So this red connection is from, from the mic in the speaker, goes into there. The other one goes into the audio out, which is the speaker connecting into the audio out on the camera, which is the red wire. If you're wondering, these two little wires, you don't even need them. You can cut them off. All you need is one little strand of wire. I chose to just keep mine as a pair as I use this wire for multiple different applications in the demonstration videos we make here on CCTV Camera World. So now I've connected the audio connections. Now what's left? Data. Again, if I connected my Ethernet cable coming from the PoE source, I won't be able to take power and plug it in here. So here's what we do. You still need this setup, these three things, the PoE power splitter, the DC power splitter, and the DC power coupler. What I'm gonna do is take my PoE power, split it in, into data and power, and then split the power again, and then couple it to connect it into the speaker. So let's try that now. I'm gonna connect my speaker first. Camera's power second, and then the ethernet cable here go into the camera. So now I've got my setup right here. I'll move this out of the way so it doesn't complicate things. So what do I have going on here? Power going to the camera, the DC in 12 volt, into the speaker using a coupler, the audio connections, the data connections into the camera. Of course, make sure you protect this. If this is exposed to moisture, it'll corrode the connections inside. And then I've got PoE connections going in from my NVR, PoE switch, or PoE injector. And that's how you set up the two-way audio box using a two-lead wire connection on your PTZ camera. So thus far in this video, what we've shown you is how to set up our two-way audio mic and speaker combo with a mini PTZ and with any other IP or PoE camera that has two RCA inputs, one for line in and one for line out. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. If any part of this is confusing, please be sure to leave a comment for us and we'd be more than happy to answer your questions. Please make sure you're using items purchased from CCTV Camera World. We can only answer questions related to the products we sell. Thank you.